It's been five years to the day since the Hrant Dink assassination in Istanbul, and today the pictures coming into our newsroom show 40,000 people in a march through the streets of Istanbul. In fact, when you looked at overhead pictures, you couldn't even see pavement for quite a long distance. Originally, we were expected through an expert who told us only for about 1,000 people to be there, but of course there was Tuesday's verdict. I'm joined by Civil Justice Director Salpi Hazarian. Salpi, what happened? You know, Greg, it's just amazing to me. When they first said the verdict was supposed to come out on Tuesday, I said, does nobody in the Turkish government own a calendar? Mm -hmm. I mean, don't they understand that whatever the verdict is, this is going to take people to the streets? And the verdict being what it is, and I can't imagine it was a surprise to the, those up on high, I don't know what this says. Arrogance, impunity, um, just a lack of recognition about the depth to which the assassination itself affected Turkish society, and we're not talking about Armenians, I and mean, we're sitting here watching them, right? Mm -hmm. it, the lack of comprehension that this is not a matter of an Armenian, you know, living in Turkey, being assassinated, you know, editor of a newspaper. This is about Turkish society, the Turkish justice system, Turkey being responsible for its citizens, responding to the citizens' needs, being fair, like one of our guests said the other day, right, a litmus test for Turkish yeah. democracy. Which he thinks they failed. Which he thinks they failed. And it just amazes me that it was so taken for granted, underestimated arrogance. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Which is why, you know, this whole issue of Turkish denial has become such a big deal. It's, it's you know, these two, three days we've all been working on the Hrantin fifth anniversary thinking that's what we were going to mark. Um, and then for Monday we're preparing to talk about the, the French Senate's expected vote. And you know, you, you look around and you say, what is the Turkish government thinking? You know, we've looked at video, as we've seen reports over the past few days, and we have to keep asking ourselves, is this video from 2007? Is this video from 2012? Is this video from Tuesday? Is it from Thursday? Which is an indication, if you're still getting 40,000 people in the street, that this is still, I mean, does it surprise you that it's still that heavily protested? No, I, I, uh... I think that the Hrant Dink assassination was such a huge turning point for Turkey, whether Turkish government realizes it or not, but there's certainly a sufficient number of uh, Turkish public intellectuals, writers, academics, plain old folk who understand what you know, Cengiz said the other day, that this is really important. You can't do this in broad daylight in the country and then choose to ignore everything that was said in court about where all of this started and instead you just hang two young guys who happen to be pulling the trigger. You just can't do it in a real civilized country. Who just randomly showed up in Istanbul. You know, They'd that's... Never been there right, that right. just isn't, right. This isn't what happens. And I really think that I'm not just not surprised, I'm grateful and I'm awed by the depth of understanding. And I hope that we can feed it participate in it, cooperate with it, because if it goes in the right direction for Turkey, it will be the right direction for us as well, both as a country and as a people still waiting for acknowledgement. Salbi, thank you so much. Right now on our website, civilnet.tv, there are three or four very in-depth interviews in both English and Armenian. We hope you'll check them out and get an even deeper perspective as to what this whole issue means still today in 2012, as today is the five-year anniversary of Hrant Dink's assassination. Mm -hmm.